Hello everyone and welcome back to Trash Academy. My name is Eliseo and in today's lesson, we're going to be talking about individual solutions to plastic pollution. Now in today's lesson, we're going to be focusing on how one individual can actually spark change throughout a huge network of people. Now on the screen, you'll see a picture of a peaceful protest, which we have seen a lot lately from environmental issues such as climate change to social justice issues such as Black Lives Matter. These protests show how our lives are deeply affected by people in power and in leadership. Now, all of you are very young, but it does not mean that you don't have a voice because the same issues that are affecting you, your family, your friends, or your grandparents might be affecting you in the future. Now, being an individual just means one single human being. And what can you do as just one individual? Well, I'd like to introduce to you Greta Thunberg. She is a 17-year-old girl, and she is just one individual. Now, Greta's actions and activism have influenced millions of people all around the world to fight for climate change and to fight for a safer tomorrow. Now, here is that same 17-year-old girl today. She is now part of a huge community of people of all ages fighting to bring attention to climate change. Now, what can you do? Now, there are a lot of things you could do, but let's start with some simple and easy ones that actually help the environment and actually help break that habit of using so much plastic in our lives. But the most important thing is actually to think green. Now, thinking green basically means thinking reusable, think renewable, thinking sustainable, thinking healthy and safe for both us and our planet. Now on the screen, you'll start to see a 2017 study from National Geographic focusing on plastic water bottles made out of PET. PET is polyethylene terephthalate, and this study actually showed that more than 1 million water bottles are actually sold globally around the world every single minute. And that it takes 2,000 times more energy to make a plastic water bottle than to make tap water. And most importantly, that it takes 450 years for a plastic bottle made out of PET to degrade into smaller and smaller microplastics. Now that study was three years ago in 2017. We're now in 2020 with more people on this planet and even more plastic in our oceans. Now on the screen, you can start to see two images. One of them is actually a bunch of plastic water bottles being crushed, and then a new set actually replacing that every single couple of seconds. Now next to that picture, we have one water bottle made out of metal that can be used and reused an endless number of times. Now making the switch from plastic to metal can make a huge difference, not only in our lives, but also in our environment. Now, most of the plastics that we find in our ocean, in our environment, are actually part of a single-use plastic network. Worldwide, a trillion single-use plastic bags are used every year. That's nearly two million every single minute. Now, on the screen, you'll see a few more ways about how you, as an individual, can make a huge difference locally, nationally, and even internationally. One really easy way is to support plastic bans, support social justice movements, and support environmental justice movements within your area. You can also fund clean energy, renewable energy, and biodegradable products that are safe and easy to use for us and for our planet. And last but not least is thinking green. It could be as easy as just riding your bike, growing your own garden, using reusable and renewable products, as well as using less or no plastic at all. And here's a message from our friend Greta Thunberg about how you can also help fight climate change. This is not a drill. My name is Greta Thunberg. We are living in the beginning of a mass extinction. Our climate is breaking down. Children like me are giving up their education to protest. But we can still fix this. You can still fix this. To survive, we need to stop burning fossil fuels. But this alone will not be enough. Lots of solutions are talked about. But what about a solution that is right in front of us? I'll let my friend George explain. There is a magic machine that sucks carbon out of the air, costs very little, and builds itself. It's called a tree. A tree is an example of a natural climate solution. Mangroves, peat bogs, jungles, marshes, seabeds, kelp forests, swamps, coral reefs, they take carbon out of the air and lock it away. Nature is a tool we can use to repair our broken climate. These natural climate solutions could make a massive difference. Pretty cool, right? But only 
if we also leave fossil fuels in the ground. Here's the crazy part. Right now, we are ignoring them. We spend 1,000 times more on global fossil fuel subsidies than on natural-based solutions. Natural climate solutions get just 2% of all the money used on tackling climate breakdown. This is your money. It is your taxes and your savings. Even more crazy, right now, when we need nature the most, we're destroying it faster than ever. Up to 200 species are going extinct every single day. Much of the Arctic ice is gone. Most of our wild animals have gone. Much of our soil has gone. So what should we do? What should you do? It's simple. We need to protect, restore and fund. Protect. Tropical forests are being cut down at the rate of 30 football pitches a minute. Where nature is doing something vital, we must protect it. Restore. Much of our planet has been damaged. But nature can regenerate, and we can help ecosystems bounce back. Fund. We need to stop funding things that destroy nature and pay for things that help it. It is that simple. Protect, restore, fund. This can happen everywhere. Many people have already begun using natural climate solutions. We need to do it on a massive scale. You can be part of this. Vote for people who defend nature. Share this video. Talk about this. All around the world, there are amazing movements fighting for nature. Join them. Everything counts. What you do counts. Now here on the screen, we have three key vocabulary words for today's lesson. And the first one is advocate, a person who publicly supports or recommends a policy or a cause. The second one is systemic, describes something that happens or exists throughout a whole system, which is something we've heard a lot about this year and systematic, which describes an organized and detailed plan. Now, I wanna thank you all for today's lesson and for joining us today in Trash Academy. I look forward to seeing all of you in our next lesson. Y hasta luego. <laughs>